Hello guys, how are you? Welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Alan, as always. I'm the Italian chef in London and today we're gonna do something very, very special. Something that reminds me of my own like land, the best Friuli. Uh, if you watched my video previously, you, you know that Friuli is the n most northern east region of Italy. And today we're gonna make risotto with radicchio, which is a special vegetable. I'll show you now. This is radicchio and sausage. Stay tuned and let's get started with the ingredients. So guys, this time we got a little more ingredients than usual. We got our lovely rice for risotto. This is the Alone Nano variety. Please do not use basmati or long grain rice for risottos. It won't work at all. We got some radicchio from Chioggia. This is Chioggia variety and maybe you can call it chicory as well. Um, then we got our salt and pepper sausage, but you can use some cipollata as well. No problem at all. We got a vegetable stock cube, some butter, finely chopped onions and grated parmesan cheese, a little bit of uh, black peppercorns, sea salt, a lovely lovely glass of white wine and our best friend as always extra virgin olive oil. So guys first things first we got some boiling water in a, in a pot and we're just gonna add our vegetable stock cube like that. And we're gonna keep it to a medium to low heat and we're just gonna give it a good stir just to dissolve it and that's gonna be our stock for our risotto so guys we're just gonna get our radicchio and cut it through the middle like that this is gonna be good for a salad so we we'll keep it apart and this is what we're gonna use for our risotto so we're gonna chop it through the middle again like that and get rid of this like that get rid of that like that and we're just gonna start slicing it very very finely like that this is the quantity that we need for our risotto and we're just gonna place it aside for now. Like that. And now we're gonna take care of our sausage. Remove all the casing. We're just gonna do a little incision like that. And start peeling this off. Now that we remove the casing, we're just gonna start cutting it into little cubes like that. Pretty much like same size. So guys, now uh, on a medium heat, we're gonna add some olive oil like that. This is the perfect pot for risotto. You want something large uh, with a bit of sides like that. And we're gonna add straight up our chopped onions in there like that. Everything. And we're just gonna give it a good stir like that. And uh, we're gonna make it like gently fry for about three minutes. So guys, as you can see, everything started sizzling. Beautiful noise for my ears. And we're gonna leave it like that for another, let's say, minute. And then we're gonna add the sausages. So we're gonna get our sausages straight in like that. Give it a good stir. and leave it till the sausages are done. Mm -hmm. 
So guys, please keep on stirring the sausages and the onions together. We don't, you don't want them to burn, especially the onions. Just keep going like that. So guys, as you can see, uh, the onions started to get a golden color and uh, the sausages are cooked all the way through. This is the right time to toast our rice inside of it. So we're just gonna chuck our rice like that, all the way. And we're just gonna keep on stirring it, making sure like it, it doesn't like stick to the pan too much. But if it does, like, don't be scared, like we're gonna fix it uh, very soon. And just keep stirring it like that. And basically the trick is to get a little bit of rice with your fingers. If you can hold it with your fingers, it's not ready yet. When it's like getting very, very hot and you can't handle it anymore in your hands, that's the right time for, um, uh, that, that means that the, the result is toasted. So we're just gonna keep on stirring it like that. Give it a nice toast. This procedure is very important because um, it sort of makes a, a layer on the outside, on the outside of the rice, and it's gonna make it like crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. So this is what you want, like for a perfect risotto. The secret is always toasting it. Just keep on stirring it like that. So our risotto is nice and toasted. Let me, ah, ah, yes, it's now ready. So what we're doing now is like getting the glass of white wine. Like that and pour it all the way into it. Can you hear the noise? That's the right noise. And basically, from now on, the rice is gonna start cooking. So, set our timer for 15 minutes, and that's the right time for this risotto to be ready. Just stir it like that. You want all the alcohol to evaporate, you don't want any alcohol in your dish. So, you just keep on stirring it like that on a medium heat. As you can see, all the rice that got stuck into the pot before now has been released and we got nothing sticky on it anymore. So I can't smell any more alcohol, all the alcohol is, um, is evaporated, all the alcohol is gone. And I just can smell the nice lovely white wine flavor. And this is the right time to add our radicchio to it, like that. Everything in there, like that. Look at that, guys. Beautiful colors. Beautiful. So, guys, we're just gonna keep on stirring it, and all the liquid part of the wine is now evaporated. Uh, it started to stick again. So, this is the perfect time to start adding our stock. So a generous scoop like that, all the way in. See all the bubbles? That's perfect. Another one. Give it a good stir like that. And another one. Three big scoops to start with it. Give it a good stir and leave it like that. And we're gonna start adding some cracked pepper as well. Personally, I love cracked pepper, so I'll be generous with it. But it's totally up to you. That's it for me. And we're just gonna leave it like that, over a medium heat, until it starts to absorb all the, the water, all the stock. And then we're just gonna keep on adding stock. So guys, now, uh, Six minutes are gone of our 15 minutes. As you can see, you start to absorb 
all the water, just give it a good stir and leave it like that. So we've got six and a half minutes left. Look at that, it's absorbing all the water. I would say it's the right time to add another generous scoop of our stock. Like that. And leave it there. You don't need to stir it so much, like it's a bit pointless. Just get all the rice bits from the sides. Stick it in so it gets like cooked evenly, and that's it. So we got two and a half minutes left on our timer. As you can see, it's getting dry. So this time, just half a scoop of like that, and give it a little stir, like that. Maybe a little bit more, like that. Good stir. So guys, uh, we got uh, 20 seconds left, we got, we're gonna turn off our heat, put our butter in there, and our parmesan, like that, and this is this process called mantecatura, and basically is what is um, helping our risotto to get very, very creamy, we're gonna get it off the heat, Give it a good stir like that. Like that. And we're just gonna leave it covered for another minute, minute and a half. And then our result is gonna be ready to be enjoyed. So one and a half minutes are gone and this is the result guys look at this like very creamy risotto with sausage and radicchio so now we're ready to plate it look at that guys just gonna plate it like that a little bit more a bit angry today like that and this is it so guys i hope you enjoyed my recipe this is this smells lovely. So I'm just gonna try it now, just to let you know if it's good or not. I get a little bit of rice and a little bit of sausage like that. Give it a good blow like that. Mm. Guys, this is amazing. Please try. Please, please try it. It's amazing. I'll have another bit. Mmm, absolutely spot on. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. Please like and subscribe and share with your friends and family. And I'll see you at the next recipe. Bye, ciao, ciao. Bye. Mmm, cabana. Mmm.